Millions of stamps designed by a celebrated local artist are decorating postage envelopes circulating across the country. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is in Carroll Gardens to show us how the flowers of Brooklyn inspire the painter. A spring stroll through these brownstone lined streets is enough to understand why flowers are always on Kim Parker's mind. The garden for me is a metaphor for a community. Birds chirp and lilacs bloom as she sits down with her paintbrush. And within minutes, the buds and blossoms on the paper reflect the aptly named Carol Gardens outside her front door. There are gardens everywhere. I mean, for a floral painter, you're in your element. I take walks, I call them flower walks, with my husband and my dog. A classically trained flutist, Parker, an artist, designer, and teacher, decided instead to lean into her love of painting. She turned it into a career that spans more than 30 years, best known for the vibrant floral patterns that decorate the clothing, tableware, and furnishings of her home. After many, many jobs in different aspects of the fashion industry. I decided to go in my early 30s out on my own and formed my own design studio, Kim Parker Designs, where I was selling namelessly my own floral patterns and geometric patterns and stripe patterns on silk and paper to the entire fashion industry. Her designs made it to many big box retailers, into hospitals, films, and TV shows. Last April, the United States Postal Service approached her to design two of this year's new stamps. These panes of bright flowers and ink and gouache was the result. A two ounce stamp called Wedding Blooms and the celebration Bloom's design is now on a forever stamp. It's been a privilege and an honor, you know, to produce these florals for these two stamps and to see them disseminated and bring cheer. USPS says more than 250 million of these stamps have been printed so far and they're designed to send a subtle message of joy. So next time you receive a special piece of mail, you may have a tiny Brooklyn garden on the upper right hand corner. In Carroll Gardens, Hannah Klieger, CBS 2 News. It'll be good to mail that Mother's Day card with one of those stamps.